Welcome Pisces and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a bonus singles love reading for March 2020. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, so whenever you view this, it could be a past, present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate, please try checking your moon, rising, and Venus signs for love. This is a bonus, so last week there was a singles reading up for this month, so definitely go check that reading out as well. I may link it in the description box so it's easier to find. There are timestamps in the description box if you want to skip ahead, Pisces. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I give away three free readings a month. All you have to do is follow me. Um, comment on any post for the month you want to enter for. February winners are going to be announced March 1st. Alright, for Pisces. Romance. What messages need to come through spirit for Pisces? What needs to be known for Pisces in love? Wow. A lot of cards came out. We have balance, purity, trust, and beginnings. Beautiful energy. I'm going to move these guys over here for more room since all of these wanted to come out. This week you guys chose the Rider Waite Smith Tarot yeah, 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 on Instagram. So definitely follow me there so you can participate in our polls. Alright. Your, your energy at the top, Pisces, your person's energy at the bottom. Can be flipped or reversed. It is a general reading. Whoa. A reunion, a celebration here on the bottom of the deck, Pisces. What is happening here? Alright, so I'm going to read you here. We have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. I think, Pisces, you've been at a place where you have really been cutting people off in your life. This can be friends, family, co-workers, love interests. Like, you've just been cutting people out of your life. You are really trying too hard to sever your heart and your logic, right? You want to think rationally. Now, this person, I feel like they are a really good match for you. And I think you see mirroring qualities in this person. Now, you may be very guarded with your emotions. Now, air signs get a bad rap for being unemotional. That is not the case. They just have a very good ability at masking you know, separating their emotions, right? This person, I think you see mirroring qualities in this person. You're coming through as the king and queen of swords. So I do see this could be an office romance for some of you, but this is working together. You could go to school with this person. You could work with this person, but I think your heart is incredibly guarded, Pisces. I feel like you have this wall up around yourself. It's like you're trying to protect yourself, not let anybody in. It's like I kind of see you guys working side by side, like being very evenly matched, very similar mirroring energy to the two of you. Like you guys are at work, you're doing your thing, and like you're trying to keep up your guard. You're trying not to express your emotions. You're trying to stay, play it very cool, be very mysterious. You're not trying to let too much on. I think you're still protective of your heart from previous hurts, previous pains. Now this person though, Pisces, they go home at night and they you know, they can't sleep. They're thinking about you. They're up at night. They're worried. They don't understand how you feel. They feel like you're holding back from them. They feel like you're never going to let your guard down around them. And it like gives them anxiety and it makes them feel rejected. It makes them feel ignored. This person, you definitely could work or go to school with this person. Or they could be a client. I mean, this could be like something of that nature, but it doesn't have to be, but it's just like, you're trying to focus on work around this person who you guys are working together, but like you're trying to keep your guard up. You're trying not to express too much. You're trying to, maybe you're just afraid of being vulnerable. 
but the thing is is like this person because you're not allowing this person to see and vice versa i feel like both of you are having this anxiety like both of you don't know how the other person feels um they feel like you're holding back from them they feel rejected they feel ignored by you but what's coming in here is new love and happiness so the energies on the board we have air energy strong air energy gemini libra aquarius we have earth we have wands for fire we have cups we have a little bit of everything we have strong water energy cancer scorpio pisces and we have strong leo energy here uh, we also have pisces cancer energy over here we have a little bit of everybody here but we do have strong air and strong water so there's new love here pisces new love a new beginning in love and not only that it makes you incredibly happy i feel like this person they want to understand how you feel i feel like both of you do a very good job you already know this person now, if this is not your reading, please check your other placements. But for the Pisces or Crosswatcher that I am reading for, you know this person. You may even be going out with this person. You may even be having fun with this person. I mean, it could be like a group setting, like, a like you guys are best friends. Or this is your brother's friend. You guys see each other at social events. Or you work with this person. I mean, it could be a coworker, a boss. It could be a client. I mean, but there is a there is a situation here where you know you know this person. And both of you guard your hearts from each other. Both of you guard your feelings. Both of you are afraid to express this to one another. Now, what's crossing the situation is somebody's intuition. You know, there's secrets. There's mystery here. Somebody feels like they can't read the other person. Now, Pisces, this is your energy. So I feel like you come off very mysterious. And I think you intuitively know that this person is into you. The problem is this person is keeping this guard up, keeping this mask, because they don't understand how you feel. They can't read you. Now, I feel like the two of you are a good match for one another, so you both intuitively already know this, but they want they want an expression from you, or you, or vice versa. This can be the reversed. But what's crossing this is a chapter that's ending and beginning, so changing the relationship. Maybe this is your best friend. Maybe this is somebody you work with. You know, maybe this is, um, you know, your superior, so you can't act on it, and you're afraid because of the work relationship that you have. I mean, this can go a lot of different ways, but you know this person. You do... For those of you who this resonates for, this is somebody that you know. I really get office romance, but but anything like that. It's like maybe you only see this person when you're at work. But I do see the two of you going out, having fun, maybe getting dinner, getting drinks. I do see a risk being taken here, Aries energy. I do see truth and communication coming out. So I do see the situation changing here. I do see Sagittarius energy here, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer energy with a chariot. So I do feel that the two of you may be spending time outside of work. Maybe this person's inviting you to go out with, with the guys, you know what I mean? Or out with a girl, you know what I mean? Like maybe they're inviting you along as like a work thing or with their friends or in some type of group setting. And if you guys are going out, you're having dinner, you're talking, you're having a good time, you're taking a risk on this connection or they are, maybe you're extending this invitation to them. And there's an honest conversation that kind of happens here. Something you've been waiting for, something you want to build and grow on, something you want to nurture, you want this to flourish. But I do see travel involved here, Cancerian energy. I do see movement involved in the situation. Somebody might have been confused, a little bit reclusive. I feel like maybe you've been kind of afraid, kind of trapped in your head about asking this person out because you didn't know how they'd feel. You didn't know if they would if they would be into it, what they would do, what they would say. You were kind of emotional about making this decision. But I feel like this is progressing outside of the environment that you guys spend time in. And that is progressing the situation here because there's romance here. There's feelings here. And I feel like you intuitively already know this. The oracle messages that we have here, we have balance. So like you're trying to find that balance between, you know, your friendship, your work relationship, the relationship that you have with this person and allowing it to grow because you mutually want this. This is for a Pisces who mutually wants this. Purity. There's pure intentions behind this relationship. And there's new beginnings and there's trust here. Maybe you've both been very fearful here of how the situation would progress if you move things out of the zone that it's in. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you've both been fearful of taking the next step, taking that risk, that leap of faith to progress the situation. But I do see that you guys spend time outside of your environment or place that you normally spend time together and getting to know one another on a deeper level having honest conversations and having romance flourish here so i do see beautiful things in store for you pisces with this person i do feel that this is a message for a pisces who already knows this person they already intuitively know this person has mutual feelings for them but both people here have been very um, anxious and very scared of making the next step towards it but i do see things changing here i do see a new beginning i do see romance here 
All right, Pisces, that was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.